Hello Rust developers and welcome to the Rust questions and answers video series. If you want to learn anything about Rust, this is your channel. Rust navigation, Rust with drones, Rust for autonomous cars, everything about Rust is here. Learn Rust step by step and push your Rust learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto and today we are going to be checking a question I found in Rust answers, which is this one. A CPP publisher subscriber tutorial losing some messages. So we are going to be reviewing this, this question and trying to answer it with an example, of course, with a practical example. But before anything else, remember to visit our Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots, no installation required. You will find a link to the academy on the video description. Now, yes, let's start with the video itself. So let me close this. Then here the user uh, says, I was following the tutorial, which is this one, the basic writing a simple publisher and subscriber in C++ from the Ross wiki, uh, and faced the following problem. Some messages, usually three, are lost when doing the sequence. Start talker, start listener, stop talker, and start talker again. For example, an output uh, like this is produced in the talker window, so the hello world 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. And in the listener, he starts getting the message from the hello world 3. So he's losing 0, 1 and 2. These three messages are being lost. Uh, there is no such problem with the Python publisher subscriber. Not even a single message was lost. So let's, let's try this. Let's try to, miss this, to build this situation first of all. We are going to use RDS for that. To create this scenario very quickly. So I'm going to create here a new project. Let me name it Talker Listener. I'm going to select here the Ross Kinetic plus Gazebo 7. So let's create here the project and open it. Uh, let's wait a few seconds until the environment fully loads. There we have it. So now let me first of all open a shell and I'm going to open an IDE as well. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is to create a package. So let's go to the Katkin workspace, SOC folder and Katkin, create package, um, talker listener for instance, and uh, ROS CPP. Excellent. So now here we should have our package created. And now we're going to add a uh, new file talker.cpp and new file listener.cpp So now let's uh, come here to tutorials and copy the codes. This is the talker, so let's copy all these into the talker cpp and let's save and let's do again the same with the listener, which should be done here. Here we have it. So let's copy the listener code. And paste it here. Great, so now uh, we'll need to compile it. So let's modify the semi lists. Let's see. I think they have it here somewhere here. Yeah. So let's get this and paste it here into the, our semiglis file. The talker, talker, uh, okay, so this should be talker listener. And talker listener. Okay, so let's compile now. Let's compile our package. So that it generates the, the executables. We are getting a warning here. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, that doesn't matter. So let me source here my workspace, and now we are going to test this basically. So let's open another shell for the listener. I'm going to source as well here my workspace. So now I can do in the I can run the talker node. There we have it, and here I'm going to run the listener node. Okay, so now uh, the sequence was to stop the talker and start the talker again. So let's do that. Here, as you can see, it's synchronized. But what happens if I stop now the talker? Obviously, the listener stops as well. And now, if I run again, okay, yeah. So you can see there, the me stop it again. So I have stopped here the talker and I have run it again. And it starts from the Hello, Hello World 3. So right as this user says, I am losing uh, the messages 0, 1, and 2. Yeah? Can you see here that they are nowhere? Uh, okay, so this, as uh, some users have reported here, well, in fact, it's, it's, uh, he has answered his question here. So this is uh, due to the time that Ross needs to initialize the publisher. In this case, he says it took up to 13 milliseconds. So adding a 50 milliseconds pause, sleep, before publishing the first message is enough to solve the problem. Yeah. So basically, this is because, uh, because of the time that uh, it needs to initialize the publisher. Yeah. During this time, some messages as, are lost. Then, as the user says, you can solve this by adding a sleep here, it will be here, but I want to show you another another solution, which I think is better, and it is the following. You can use, there is a function that you can use uh, related to publishers, which is the get num subscribers. Yeah, then this, um, this function is getting the number of subscribers for this publisher. Yeah, this publisher was created here, the chatter poop, which publishes into the topic chatter. Then this publisher is getting the number of subscribers that are connected to this uh, publisher. Yeah, then what we are doing here is to check if the number of subscribers connected to this publisher is zero. Then if this is the case, if it's zero, what we are going to do is to uh, not publish anything. Just uh, do an sleep. Here we have the loop rate. So let's, for instance, do here a loop rate, sleep. So the code will come here. And it will check if the publisher has subscribers connected to it. If not, it will keep here until it until some subscriber connects to the publisher. Yeah? So while there are no subscribers connected to the publisher, this program will do nothing. It will just sleep and it will come back to the while, so this will be an endless loop. Then as soon as some subscriber connects to the publisher, so this is no longer true, because this will be a one, then it will go out of this loop and it will publish a message. Yeah? So let's save this, let's compile again, and let's check that this works as, as expected. So let's here compile. Uh, Oh, yeah, sure. I need to... This is a function. The Well, it's a method, yeah? The get num subscriber is a method, so I need to put here the bracelets. Okay, so let's save again and compile. Now it will work. There we have it. So let's source again. We can run again the talker, and here let's in fact, let's uh, 
stop everything again so that we can see better how this works. Okay, so let me clear here and clear here. So now I'm going to run my updated node and it states it stays here at zero as you can see. So let's here run our listener and now it starts publishing, yeah? And what happens now if I uh, do again the sequence that the users comment here? So I'm going to stop the talker and obviously the publisher stops. But now if I run again my talker, as you can see here, let me stop it again and run it yet again another time. So now what happens? Now I am not losing any message, as you can see. Here I stop it, here I stop it again, and I'm starting at the hello, hello world zero. Zero, one, two, three, etc. And the same here, zero, one, two, three, etc. So now I'm not losing any message. Basically because I am waiting for a subscriber to be connected before publishing my message. Yeah? So, yeah. That was all for this, this, this video. I hope uh, you've liked it. It's uh, very simple, but but this is a, a usual common that Rust beginners have. This uh, confusion because some messages are losing. And this is the reason, the, the time that Rust takes to initialize some things. But well, this is a nice way to solve it using some methods of the, of the publisher class like this one, the get num subscribers. There, is, there are other methods in Python, for instance, which are the get num connections. But well, for this case, since he's using C++, I wanted to use this one. So yeah, if you like the video, please give us a like, give us a thumbs up, and remember to subscribe to our channel. We are publishing videos every day related to Ross, solving doubts with projects, lots of things, lots of uh, nice and inter interesting things. And yeah, also remember to leave uh, your comments, your thoughts, anything you want to say to us in the comment sections below. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.